We know what that is. I need to find the gold egg-like thing to balance that thing out, and then I think we'll be able to do that. We'll head over there. There's the ju jerk over there. Let's see if she will talk to him. We'll see if he knows where there's some Sauvignon berries. Hello. Hey, baby, you po Just who do you think? Hey! <laughs> hey, listen. Yeah, she's... Hello. Hey, just... Yeah, he just hey, just listen. Things. All right, let's head inside then. Nothing out here, right? Nope. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. And inside. Go inside. Alright, so we're looking for these berries. Can we go up the stairs? Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, that took me to that one room. Right, the big round room. It's like a lecture hall. Yeah. Somebody's sleeping. Nope, 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 nope. There's really nothing in here, right? And that guy disappears. That's what's really funny. <laughs> it's like they did, they animated him here, but didn't want to animate him there. Come on, go already. This door's probably locked again. No point. It's locked. No point. It's locked. All right. So let's head on back. I guess we can go talk to the directors again, and we'll go talk to the um, paleontologist again and see. I thought that we had already talked to him, though, about the berries, so it seems like, seems like we're doing... Well, let's... Can we look at this guy? No? No. Okay. Alright, so we'll head over here, then. See what we can find. We'll go talk to him again. Hey, buddy. Can can we talk? Do excuse me, Professor. Professor, sorry to disturb you again. What is it you want? You wouldn't know where the forest so... Uh, why do you think there are so... I read about it in a book at the library. Uh, try going to see the station master. If such a... Sh it's actually he who sent me to you. I thought it a little strange, but he definitely said ask the paleontologist. You're the only one here, aren't you? Yes. Yes, indeed. What a strange way to behave. Well, I, um, I think he must have made a mistake. That's all. Nobody tells me anything here. Maybe you should ask the rectors. After all, they are in charge of the university. All right. Thanks. All right. Well, so there di he's directing. I'll leave you in peace. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, Mike. So he's directing me back to these people, so we'll go talk to them and see if that is where we can find the freaking berries so that we can feed it to the stupid birds so that we can go up the ladder to fix the automaton, which I assume maybe that's why maybe the the automaton is broken because it got that gold egg. And that's the gold egg we need to fix the thing, and then they'll give us the money so that I can pay the boat people so that I can get my boat, my boat, my train towed and we can get on to the next leg of our journey. Hey guys, we need to talk. Listen, I need some help here. I'm looking for these the gentlemen. Guys. Forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. Oh yeah. They are kept to oneself. And they don't stop the world from turning. That's Nor fine, trains but... from leaving stations. Oh my gosh, calm down. Jeez, freaking angry about silliness. Uh, my phone is dying, so I need to plug it in for battery power. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to plug my phone in. It's got a cover on it, so it's difficult. I get it? I get it? 
I think we got it. We got it. We got it, people. Done. All right. Uh, birds. Are I mean, you sure there are no Amazon Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt? Maybe. Because I have just interviewed the station master and the paleontologist, and what they said really didn't convince me that there wasn't any here. We are quite definite on this point. There are no Sauvignon plants growing in Barockstadt. You see, miss, the Amazon forest Sauvignon is a rare shrub that requires very special conditions for growth. That's right. Uh, conditions that are very hard to reproduce, believe you me. Difficult, but not impossible. Uh, fortunately, our garden has proved very successful. Your garden? So, there is a garden in Barakstadt? Oh, the garden. Well, if there was one, it would be only a little garden hidden behind the station. But our station master would be very proud of it. He would take very good care of it, too. Everything would grow marvelously if we were able to cultivate it at all, and it would be all down to his gardening prowess. And we would be proud as punch. And we wouldn't forget the role the paleontologist might play in this. What's the paleontologist got to do with it all? <laughs> without him and without his laboratory, how would we make the wine, do you think? And it would be good wine indeed, my dear colleagues, would it not? It would be wonderful oh, yes, wine. a delightful balm to soothe away our long hours of toil and our heavy responsibilities. We would wait impatiently every year for the arrival of the year's produce. So, if I have understood you correctly, there are indeed Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt. They are cultivated in a garden behind the station then turned into wine by the paleontologist's loving care. And finally, the pleasure of tasting is yours. If I'm not very much mistaken, gentlemen, you have a minor racket operating here. <laughs> Just a minor Miss, one, though. you do go jumping to some hasty conclusions. Indeed. We never said that. That's not what we said at all. We, we were talking in the conditional. You know, with ifs and woulds. So, what would happen if I had such a hunch? Hmm, you would have to keep it to yourself, of course. Yes, if, if you would be so kind as to keep it a secret. <laughs> it would only be a small local concern producing barely a few bottles every year. That's right, nothing so grandiose as a business. Otherwise, we'd be liable to be fine. So, we can't count on your discretion, can't we? Don't worry, I have no intention at all of getting messed up in anything. You would think that now would be the time. <laughs> are you sure you want me to mend your bandstand? It appears to me that you are in no position to Actually, make demands, Actually, it does miss. seem like I am in so position please. to make demands. Don't think for a moment that our university is falling apart around our ears. It is currently the only repair work that deserves pain. <laughs> Here we are, busy chat chatting. Already? My thank you for a and thank you. All right, so I guess we've figured out where we need to go. We need to go back to. Oh, I guess we go back and talk to. The guy, what's his name? The guy who runs the station. So we'll head there. Ugh, um. I don't get really yawny. Uh. For any reason other than the fact that I just keep talking and so I get yawny. But there you go. It is what it is. Alright. So we'll head down here. Run around a little bit. Go back and talk to this guy. Come on. Which we know it's where it's at. It's behind that other metal door. So there's he. So, oh, no, 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 no. You come up here. Don't run that way. Where are you going? Where are you going, Kate? Where are you going, Kate? Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see? I am very, very busy. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, no. I, well, well, I am. Very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. 
You have been playing with me, haven't you? You knew very well there were forest Sauvignon berries in the station garden. No, not at all. I've never seen your Sauvignon thing. You don't have to lie to me. I know all about it. You and the rectors are in cahoots, and the professor's lab has been turned into a distillery. You've all got a nice little smuggling racket on the side. <laughs> smuggling racket? Hey, hey, lady, you're going a bit far there. It's just a little on-the-side thing we got going. That's all. It's just for ourselves. Hey, you honest. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Aren't you worried about the reputation of this fine university? The authorities should be informed of this. But we haven't done anything wrong. It's not a crime. Can you open the gate to the garden, please? Sure, sure. No problem. Right away, miss. All right. So that should get us into the garden. We should be able to get the grapes, and then we should be able to give it to the birds, and then we should be able to get up onto the ladder to find out where that goes to open up a new area. So let's just go ahead and keep going. Catch up with this guy. <clears throat> okay, so he's opened it up. He'll probably say something. There you are. Please feel free to visit the garden at your leisure. And uh, uh, there was just one thing. Uh, I'm not a liar. Not really. Just mum's the word. There is a reputation in the university to think about. And I have superiors, and I have to do what I can. I understand. Don't you worry. If you just give me a oh, hundred dollars so that I can get my train moved, that just seems seems like the right way to have gone instead of... I mean, it seems like we're... There should be a cutting out of the middleman here. I mean, if they want us to keep quiet, why wouldn't they just... I would just say, okay, you know. Alright, so here's the back. Uh, so this is a new area, so I just want to check to make sure that there's nothing else to click on. Alright, so we'll head over here. And see where we're headed. So pretty. It's a really nice sky. Oh, there's the Sauvignon berries, I'll bet. I hear the music, it's like triumphant. You have done well, Miss Kate. You have done well. Alright, so there are our Sauvignon grapes, and there's a hook. I forgot that we had a hook. Can we look at the grapes? Can we eat them? <laughs> nope. Okay. Yummy. Hey, Levis! <laughs> You're doing it wrong. Click harder, boy. <laughs> How's it going? I haven't seen you for a while. We haven't talked. I really... I was thinking the other day, I was like, man, Levis and I need to play some uh, um, Dragon Age already together. You've been playing a lot of Star Trek Online, though, is what I've been seeing. Do you pay at all for that? Do you pay anything? Do you buy any of the like ships and stuff, or do you just do you just play and and uh, just plug away on it and try to earn your stuff the you know old-fashioned way? There they are. They're getting them some grapes. There you go. There you go, birdies. Here's your grapes. Here be your grapers. They didn't, like, scream at me like they did last time. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I've been playing a lot of SQ. Oh. Hey. Oh, they're, they're super excited. Look at them. <laughs> All right, now we can go up the ladder. Go ahead, Kate. Climb up that ladder. I've blown a bunch of money on that game over the years. I actually pre-ordered way back. Wow, nice. I played a little bit of it. Um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I, I felt like I was constantly like falling behind. Like I, I mean, not falling behind, but you just have to stay on top of so much um, with that game. You either have to continue to play, or it's like a, you know, like a, most of the pay to pay to win games. Then you do have to spend some money. You make a great pigeon. Thank you very much. Up oh, there's there's the uh, the thing. Uh, okay, so that's impossible to reach it. 
How is it impossible to reach it? Uh, oh, they want me to use 